What is up guys, DZ here, and today I want to show you some of my most valuable Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Now in the past, when I've seen people do these videos, they show their max rarity cards, they show their current meta cards that are super expensive, and while that stuff is all fine, I think you guys mostly already know which max rarity cards I own. You've seen all of them in my Alter Guys profiles. The Ulti Solemns, the Extravagances, those types of cards, so I'm not going to show those in today's video. I am going to go through some of the more unique collectible items that I have that are very expensive and very hard to find but more importantly I want to go through a binder that I have that's a collection of cards that I've gotten from friends or fans that I've sort of uh, held on to over the years before we look at that binder though I want to start off with the only prize card in my collection so I know some people go out there and buy prize cards and that's fine but I don't really do that uh, but I did win this Ascension Sky Dragon from top 80 or not top 80 well yeah I guess you I think this was not a top 16 prize I think it was a top 8 prize at the uh, UDS that I got third at so this is pretty exciting and it's uh unfortunately you know not one of the cooler price cards it's not an ultra rare but it is still very uh cool to me at least and it's pretty expensive you know it's up there and uh so that's the only prize card that i own um one of the other more sort of uh, hard to find items that i have are these two Yu-Gi-Oh envelopes so these are from the world championship uh celebration events we have the 2018 one and the 2019 one um unfortunately we can't really look at the 2019 one because that's uh sealed and i'm gonna keep it sealed but i believe this one has had, uh, what did it have? It had like Monster Born and Red Eyes in it, I think, but we can take a look at the 2018 one. I think I've shown this in a video a long time ago. Also, I have the Field Center in there. Um, so these were <laughs> really, really pricey. Um, not so much anymore. You know, this is an item that I bought and I thought it would go way up in value because the uh, the 2017 year ones did, but these two really haven't gone that much in value. So maybe I'll sell them someday, but they're these uh, pretty cool looking uh, special like 20th anniversary rarity of uh, Dark Mission and Blue Eyes. Uh, not quite prismatic, not quite really anything you can see they have the uh, the red text up there it's in Japanese of course but it's red instead of like gold something you might expect or even like a secret rare foiling and um yeah these items are really unique and uh, unfortunately I mean I don't know it goes both ways uh, unfortunately because it's open it's worth a lot less like half as much which is why I'm keeping the 2019 uh, one sealed fortunately though because they're open that means we can actually look at them in today's video which is pretty cool so those are like the uh, the more high-end collectible items that I have in general I don't buy too many cards outside of what I'm using and I don't really collect trades which I've talked about in the past so I mostly just buy cards that I actually end up using but these things were different and then obviously I won this one I just kind of want to keep it for a sentimental value but what I most want to show you guys here I can move these out of the way what I most want to show you guys is this binder and I haven't shown this binder yet this has sort of been sitting next to my desk I've been collecting as many cards as possible in it, and I think it's finally time to go through it so like I said these are cards that I collected either from friends or from fans so if you guys ever gave me cards they're probably in this binder at least from the past year I don't know if I have every single card that someone gave me but I think I have most of them and I also have some cool uh, painted cards we can take a look at but most of these cards were given to me um, these first couple pages are actually all from House of Champs John Moore a good friend of mine so he gave me these uh, beautiful ultra rare uh, slime toads I mean we all know the real name is frog the jam but slime toad whatever but <laughs> frog the jams and uh, man these things are beautiful so these things actually are pretty hard to come by they are from a pack that I opened on this channel is one of the oldest I think what premium packs in the game and it costs like a hundred dollars very small set like 10 card set and I opened one on the channel try to pull one of these didn't pull a single one so John got me one of them I believe that this white sleeved one is so um, that was really cool and then he gave me two more which is really exciting and um, one of the things that you can kind of tell as we go through here is that the things that John gave me sort of predicted the future ended up predicting the future so for example uh, John gave me this fright for Patrick the OCG version which is a really cool ultra rare it's sort of a different ultra you can see the foil in there um he gave me this long before this car was out in the tcg and then it came out on the tcg so it was really exciting but this was the first fight for patrick that i ever owned pretty cool stuff there now if we move on to the next page you guys can see we got some pretty cool stuff as well john has some of the best collector's items out there so we have this beautiful ghost rare blue eyes chaos max dragon you know what an awesome monster and then we have two different chaos forms so these are both pretty interesting so this one already is pretty cool it's the prismatic secret rare foiling that you might have seen like in this year's megatons and past sets like uh world superstars but this one in particular is super special because this is the kaiba corp rarity let's see if we can see the the kc there you can kind of see it right there um this rarity does not exist in the tcg sadly but there was a uh, printed on a whole bunch of like blue eyes cards in the ocg so that's pretty cool and then we have this fa dawn dragster i believe at the time that john gave me this we did not have a holographic version of this card in the TCG so once again John predicted the future and those are all really really special 
special to me, and um, is Unizombies as well. Unizombie was a common card that I used for a long time in a lot of profiles and a lot of decks and stuff, and uh, it wasn't ever printed in a holographic rarity for a long time, so John gave me these uh, OCG Super Rares. Eventually, the card got reprinted as an Ultra, which is really cool, but these, uh, these were the original, once again, kind of like the Fight for Patrick. I had these Super Rares long before they came out in Super Rare, or I guess came out in Ultra Rare in the TCG, so it's really cool as well. Gave me a whole playset of those, and then one Judge Man, which has the uh, the old sort of normal monster box layout, which is really cool as well. On the next two pages here, we have more stuff from John. So we have the Destiny Board layout here, and uh, I think a lot of people already know that the Destiny Board letters are different in the OSG. It spells death instead of final, but what a lot of people don't know is that they're, they actually have different arbiters in general. Like, they have a Ouija board in the background where the TCG artwork does not have that. And then we also have this beautiful, oh my gosh, the OSG has so many cool ultimate rares, but this is a beautiful ultimate rare Dragon Spirit of White. Really, really cool there. I don't know if they have an ultimate rare Chaos Max Dragon. Maybe if they do, I'll have to ask John for that. But that's all the stuff from John. He's been giving me this stuff uh, over the years. Just uh, what a great friend. He, I think I've opened some of this stuff on the channel. I'm not sure if I've shown off all of it yet. On the next page, we have some uh, older cards. We have a uh, Rainbow Kribos as well as Rainbow Ruins. I believe, I'm pretty sure here that these cards were all given to me by the same person at Nats two years in a row, something along those lines. I think that they were given to me by the same person. These Rainbow Ruins are actually really cool. These are the Starfoil versions. Not They're not commons, obviously. They're Starfoils. And um, these cards are really, really hard to find. You uh, basically had to win a Battle Pack tournament. You guys know how much I love Battle Pack, but you had to win a tournament. And then there were a whole bunch of Starfoil cards, and you got to uh, pick one of them, and you got to win that as your prize. First and second place got that. So getting a place uh, of those was really, really, really tough. I don't know if he won them or if he bought them or whatever. We also have this Italian Stardust Dragon signed by Greg Abbey, who voiced Yusei, so that's really nice as well. And we have a custom Dark Magician as well, which is, uh, I believe, a Dragon Ball character on there. So I'm not a huge uh, Dragon Ball fan, but I think that's a Dragon Ball character on there. I could be wrong. On the next page, we have some more cool stuff. So this is a fake card, a fake Exodia. Exodia, the Dark Master. There's like a... Two main Exodias that I know that a lot of people remember back from them being a kid and stuff that were like fake versions. This is like one of the bigger ones, which I never owned, which is really cool. We also have an Ultimate Cloudian Sheep Cloud. Um, this card actually got pretty recently, which is surprising because I don't know if people know this anymore, but I actually collect these. I have like a binder that has like two, no, three pages that are like three by three. So I have like 18 of these at least, maybe even more than that in another binder, but I have 18 or so uh, Ultimate Rare Sheep Clouds. That was really cool as well. This uh, Ghost Beef, I guess, wasn't given to me or wasn't uh, I didn't buy it or anything but this ghost beef is signed by uh, Cody Co and Noel Miller who they uh, run a podcast called Tiny Meat Gang and I went to one of their shows and I wanted to find a meat based Yu-Gi-Oh card and ghost beef was like the one that fit the best so that was a really fun experience I I told them briefly about my Yu-Gi-Oh channel that was a while ago though um, and then these are, are all given to me pretty recently as well these are all euro print uh, versions of some fright for cards we have two Patrick's really cool to get a play set of those sometimes so if any of you see me at an event and you have a uh, one random Patrick lying around an ultra euro print make sure to hit me up I'll definitely want that but also we have a sheep and a wolf there so those are darker printings uh, than the TCG print um, on this page or I guess both these pages are we have all sorts of drawn cards and painted cards so um, I actually did pay for these mystical space typhoons that's like one of the few things in Spiner that weren't given to me but uh, man they just look so cool I've had these for a long time they, they didn't even cost so much They're like ten dollars each or something which I thought was a really good deal uh, so these are like full art extended art whatever Whatever. can't use them for play obviously I don't know why I have to say that but some people might be like well you can use those for play unfortunately you can't um, this swap frog was given to me by a fan oh my gosh this thing is just gorgeous I'm a huge fan of swap frog you guys already know that but this extended art version of it is really really cool uh, these ones I actually did buy but uh, I bought them from a friend so I'm not sure where that falls in this category but we have a sveal a celio and a walrin these are from oh my gosh so long ago back when abyss rising had like just come out so I've had these in a, for a long long time and then uh, this one is hilarious. The Wing Dragon of Ra Sfeel mode, basically. So this is a Sfeel drawn on the Wing Dragon of Ra. I think that's painted as well, which is pretty nice. Those are some painted cards that I have. And then on the last page, we got some cool stuff. So we uh, somehow accumulated, I think all three of these were given to me by different people, but we somehow accumulated uh, three copies of Secret Rare Brilliant Fusion. This top left one is actually European prints. You can kind of compare these. You guys can kind of see here the difference uh, in Euro prints versus English prints, or I guess they're both English. Sorry, Euro, Euro prints versus uh, United States prints or NA prints just because um, the Euro prints tend to be darker. They tend to be a little bit dimmer. Some people tend to uh, like the Euro prints more because they look different. Some people like the uh, NA prints more because they're brighter, but just sort of different cups of tea for different types of people. And then we have uh, one Frog the Jam. I think this was actually 
the most recent card um, that someone gave me. So shout out to you for giving me this beautiful Frog of the Jam. Um, fortunately, it's not the Slime Toad version. It's uh, for the real version, the the real Frog of the Jam. It's not actually Slime Toad. I, th I thought a funny name to make this card if they wanted to like not make it a Frog Monster, but give it a name that doesn't suck. I thought I'd totally jam in would be a hilarious name, kind of going along with that totally awesome theme without keeping it a, uh, or the, would still keep it not a frog monster. Um, but yeah, that's this binder. That's some of my collectibles that I've gotten over the years. Like I said, I'm sure I'm missing like some of the cards that I've been given, but these are like the ones from like the past year or so ever since I started this binder. So I wanted to uh, give a shout out to any of you guys that gave me the cards in here, especially John gave me so many cards, like the ultra rare frog the gems are some of my coolest cards that I own in my collection. And then also just want to show you guys some of these uh, envelopes as well, though. I mean, I admit that looking at a sealed envelope isn't that exciting, but we could at least look in the 2018 one. And then this Ascension Sky Dragon, the only prize card that I've ever won. Actually, it's not true. I won a Blood Mephis, like, way back in the day, but I never actually got to own it. We just split it for cash. But this is, like, the only prize card that I've won in an official event and actually gotten to keep, so that's pretty cool. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, just going through some of my more valuable, sort of sentimental value, not necessarily monetary value cards. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.